Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the causes of hypertension. Hypertension can be divided into essential, primary hypertension and secondary hypertension. So essential hypertension, also known as primary hypertension. There's no known underlying cause. It accounts for the majority of hypertension in the region of about 80 to 90 percent of patients have essential hypertension. It has a multifactorial etiology that consists of genetic, being of a low birth weight, obesity, having a high alcohol intake, having a high salt intake and metabolic syndrome. In contrast then there is secondary hypertension. Secondary hypertension always has a specific cause, specific cause and so can potentially be treated. Renal disease accounts for over 80% of the cases. Common causes include diabetic nephropathy, chronic glomerulonephritis, adult polycystic kidneys, chronic tubular interstitial nephritis and renal vascular disease. Next, in secondary hypertension, there is endocrine diseases. The different endocrine diseases that can cause secondary hypertension are as listed. Conn syndrome, adrenal hyperplasia, pheochromocytoma, Cushing syndrome and acromegaly. Next, coarctation of the aorta can cause secondary hypertension. This is the congenital narrowing of the aorta, distal to the left subclavian artery. It causes hypertension by decreasing renal perfusion. Then, there's preeclampsia. Preeclampsia in the final trimester can cause hypertension. Then the last cause of a secondary hypertension are drugs. Drugs such as estrogen containing oral contraceptives, steroids, NSAIDs and vasopressin. So in summary, the causes of hypertension, there is essential hypertension, which has a multifactorial etiology, and then there is secondary hypertension, which can consist of be because of renal disease, endocrine diseases, coarctation of the aorta, preeclampsia, and because of drugs. I hope that was useful. Thank you.